So in this project, I'm going to quickly go through a project that was in All About Circuits and do it in Tinkercad and then put it onto the board. So first of all, in Tinkercad, I'll import this Arduino Uno with the breadboard already there, and then I'll bring a seven segment display in there. Now, there are two types, either the common anode type or the common cathode type. Now, in this case, I actually have a common cathode type but I'm going to leave this diagram up while I wire it up because actually they're both the same apart from the common anode and con common cathode, which will be the final pin I'll connect up. So at the moment I've gone through connecting them in order up to the pins on the Uno, starting from pin 2 and moving my way up, and pin 2 being connected to the segment A, and then pin 3 to segment B, and so on until now we're getting up to pin 7 being connected up to segment F and pin 8 being connected up to segment G. So here's a photo of my SSD package that I have the physical one. So I'm going to look up that indicator in Google and find the data sheet for it. And I can see there that it's a common cathode type. Some other details about the seven segment display there that you can read over if you want to. Let me go back in here and we're only going to worry about it being the cathode type. So that's the, the one on the left. And in that way, we need to connect the common to the ground. We're going to connect that via a 220 ohm resistor. I'm going to borrow some code from the All About Circuits project and test it out in Tinkercad. So we'll just copy that first experiment, put it in code, use the text coder, and paste it in there. And we can start the simulation. And so we notice how. The segments turn on in sequence from A through to G, and then they turn off in sequence as well. And then there's a second experiment. I'm going to go through and copy that second experiment code as well and paste it into the project and start this simulation. In this case, it's counting down from 9 down to 0 and then waits for a little bit longer and then starts counting again. Now suppose you want the functionality to be starting at 0 and then counting up to 9. So then we can initialize the counter to be 0 and then we can make it go all the way from 0 up to 9. So the counter plus plus, removing that counter minus 1 there and then we're going to run the simulation again. Okay, that's good. So it got all the way to 9, and then it starts again at 0. Okay, so now let's put that onto a real breadboard with a real Arduino Uno. So I've used the ribbon cable there to connect from ground and 5 volts, which is black and white, being the, the ground and 5 volts. And then in order from grey through to red, it's pins 2 through to 8. And then I'm going to go ahead and connect these up in the same way that we did in Tinkercad between pin 2 and segment A, pin 3, segment B, all the way to segment G. Okay, and then let's copy the code across from the Tinkercad project into an Arduino project and we'll upload it onto the board. And we can see here now it's stepping through, turning on each of the segments in turn and then turning off each of the segments in turn. And then we're going to copy the code which was experiment 2, counting from 9 down to 0. I'm going to copy that in, upload it onto the board. And there it's counting down from 9 through to 0. And we'll go ahead and make that little change that we did to the code so that it would count from 0 up to 9. And then we'll put that back onto the board and upload it again. And we can see there that it's counting all the way from 0 up to 9 again. Okay, thank you.